Good morning YouTube, our micro-learning topic today is on Arabidopsis thaliana as a model organism. If you are new here, a warm welcome, we are a group of retired professors behind Team Biotech Whisperer making bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Introducing the model plant. Arabidopsis thaliana, a small flowering plant also known as thalecress or mouse cress, is a widely used model organism in plant biology research. It is a member of the mustard family and is native to Europe and Asia. The small and easy to grow plant, with a relatively small genome genome, has been extensively studied over the past several decades, providing valuable insights into the genetic and molecular mechanisms that underlie plant growth and development. Cool features of Arabidopsis One of the main advantages of Arabidopsis as a model plant is its small genome size. With only about 130 million base pairs, the Arabidopsis genome is about one-tenth the size of the rice genome and one-hundredth the size of the human genome. This small genome size makes it relatively easy to study the function of individual genes and the genetic interactions between them. Additionally, the genome of Arabidopsis is well annotated, which means that the function of most of its genes has been identified, providing a solid foundation for further research. Easy maintenance and manipulatable. Another advantage of Arabidopsis is that it is easy to grow and manipulate. Arabidopsis can be grown in a variety of conditions, including hydroponics and soil, and it can be transformed with foreign DNA using genetic engineering techniques. This allows researchers to study the function of individual genes and perform genetic screens to identify new genes involved in various processes. Additionally, Arabidopsis is easy to grow and reproduce, which makes it a convenient model for experimentation. Researchers have used Arabidopsis to make significant discoveries in areas such as plant development, stress responses, and disease resistance. Genomic Databases and Resources The availability of genetic and genomic resources for Arabidopsis has been a major factor in its success as a model organism. The Arabidopsis genome was sequenced in 2000, and since then, a number of genetic and genomic resources have been developed, including genetic maps, mutant collections, and transcriptome and proteome databases. These resources have been essential for the discovery of new genes and pathways involved in various processes such as growth, development, stress response, and hormone regulation. Excellent Research Model Arabidopsis is now coming into its own as a model for cell biological processes that are shared across a wide range of biological diversity. This is in part because cells can be easily observed in situ, permitting investigation of cellular behavior in a native developmental context. The architecture of plant cells is also helpful. The large central vacuole pushes cytosol and organelles into a thin shell at the cell periphery producing a kind of natural optical section that increases signal-to-background, aiding detection of labeled single molecular complexes. Finally, plant cells display variations on basic cellular processes that allow for new experimental opportunities. An example is the architecture of cytokinesis. Recent Advances in Arabidopsis Research Arabidopsis research have provided important insights into the basic biology of plants and have the potential to inform the development of more resilient crops that can better adapt to changing environmental conditions. One major breakthrough has been the identification of the genes responsible for key developmental processes, such as the transition from vegetative to reproductive growth. This has led to a better understanding of how plants control their growth and development in response to environmental cues, such as changes in light and temperature. Additionally, researchers have made significant progress in understanding how Arabidopsis responds to stress, such as drought and disease. For example, scientists have identified genes that play a role in disease resistance, which could have important implications for crop breeding and food security. 
Another area of recent progress has been in understanding the mechanisms of plant microbe interactions. Researchers have identified key genes that regulate plant microbe interactions and the ways that these interactions shape plant growth, development, and stress responses. Extending advances beyond Arabidopsis insights. Overall, Arabidopsis has been an invaluable tool to accelerate discovery in other fields of plant biology. Arabidopsis has also transformed plant cell biology. Cell biology can encompass a wide range of studies. The confluence of Arabidopsis as a molecular genetic model, the discovery of intrinsically fluorescent proteins in jellyfish and other invertebrates, and advances in live cell microscopy addressed the limitations of then state-of-the-art immunocytochemistry and enabled a new era of cellular discovery in plant science based on real-time, in plant observations. As we recall Winston Churchill's famous quote, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end. But it is, perhaps, the end of the beginning.